we're with Mike, of course. So next, you know, he's like this. Yeah, yep. on the way. <laughs> next Uber. <laughs> I owe you one uh, of the Optic Podcast. ASMR. Big Timer, Hex, Hitch, Hitch. Courage. So Welcome. <laughs> Hello. It's nice to have Big T back on the podcast every every week. Yeah, and man. The only thing that we don't have is Big T with his laptop. So we know how that went. I did used to be the, I was the guy, right? Yeah, you were like the guy. The, <laughs> Look the, up everything we talk about? Yeah, you would just have like, you know those people... <laughs> Dude, stenographers like. is what they're called. And, uh, the stenographers? Yeah, stenographers. The ones that type what's happening in the in the courthouse. That's what it is? Yeah, I always man. thought I could yeah, do Yeah, man. Type hella fast. I, use, I won a typing award in high school. Did seventh you? grade. Yeah, it's like 130 words a minute. Jeez. Letters. Wait, is it words? It's, it would be words. Words? Okay. Letters per minute would be <laughs> <laughs> extremely I, I, slow. I could tweet that much. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that feels like so long ago, though, because I used to set up the two cameras, and then you used to set up all the audio equipment, and then I was fresh off of a vision edit, so I would set it up and then fall asleep in the corner while you guys talked, and then you'd wake me up when you were done, and then I'd edit the... I can't believe there's only been 68 podcasts since then. That's counting those? Yeah, yeah well, 60... it went, we went like a... We went like, the math on We that. went like nine months without doing one. That's true. But it was no one's fault. We just did it was 69 divided <laughs> by 7. There was no there was one. No we one did nine, nine episodes a year for the last seven years. <laughs> <laughs> which, is the, which is the worst. I uh, think it's fine. Because it, it, this podcast started three days ago <laughs> and they've got four episodes I in the can. I already have four episodes in the can. Uh, which that, is, which that'll is stop, weird. though. You're, yeah, just, you're riding a high. Oh, yeah, right. no, he's got his easy people locked in, but yeah. Yeah. he'll no. be done by yeah. no, end of October. That'll be... No, well, th- I appreciate the confidence, the vote of confidence, <laughs> but I have a plan, and and since I'm doing it weekly, it's not going to be that taxing on us. Uh, we did though. Nachat and Scumpy agreed to do the sixty fifty Russell Drive podcast. Can you donate an hour a week? Okay, and we're gonna rotate and where we upload. It's like you know this channel first, this channel first, this channel first, and I'll be in charge of putting it all together. So all you gotta do is literally show up to your microphone and speak. <clears throat> yeah, we've been talking about it. Wait, so we're gonna have to do it. Online, like Discord or something. Yeah, unless you guys want to take a trip. You know what I'm saying? Actually, Seth's already going to be here. Yeah. So the only people that would have to fly in, Nate Nate, Nate and uh, and Merck. And Merck. That's easy. I brought a flight from Ohio to here. It's like... 150 bucks. Talk about the early days, sleeping on mattresses in the living room. Dude, that would be... That podcast would pop. I think think so, I think I think with Call of Duty, like with what's about to happen in Blackout, I think anything like that is going to pop. What Especially. were you doing in 2013, Jack? Uh, sophomore college was a fraternity president, and it was Ooh, a year before. So you were I, swimming. Oh, just in the, the dreams. Yeah. Um, and then the next year was when I started casting. I was an intern, unpaid intern, MLG, 2013. Dude, you should hear some of Jack's hazing stories. They're so good. No, tell us. Was it wasn't any actually? <laughs> No, oh, you guys were a civilized no. fraternity. No, I just, I just didn't deal with any of that s- stuff. Well, you're the president, I guess. You, you were too high. Up. What sort of culture? What sort of culture are you, sort of, creating for your fraternity if you don't haze anyone? Well, Jack also didn't drink till he was 21, so he was a sober, non-hazing president of a fraternity. Impeach. You gotta wonder, like impeachment. What fraternity was he a president of? Yeah, what was the name of your fraternity? Uh, Theta Chi. Theta Virgi Kai. Uh, listen, Theta I'll, Virgi Kai. I'll, 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 I'll let I'll, you know. I'll let the roast flow. It's fine. So you were you were one of the main three, the Alpha Kappa Beta Dama. I don't know. I, I, yeah, he I really is I hyper today. I, you were. I, I, I don't know what it is, dude. You know, Hector, I don't know what Hector it is. Look at David. Look at Davis's phone. And Davis was like saying, "What's up to Blake?" And Hector looked at it, pretended he could read it, and went, "Ooh, Ooh y'all you, fighting! Y'all fighting!" It was the most like normal conversation. <laughs> trouble, <laughs> trouble in Team Summertime. Paradise. I don't know, dude. I was. Did you see the text thread or the the tweet thread I had a couple days ago? It's like I was going through like all my f- old footage and like uploading clips or whatever. I found one of Jack, <laughs> and I was just like, "Jack's Jack's always been the same, man." Because it was Jack, it was heavy Jack, hefty Jack. Ooh, it was fat sit, Jack, fat sitting Jack. sitting in the back of the pro lounge. Yeah, and I have my camera yeah, like zoomed in on him, and he goes, 
Nezo, you ready to carry me in some CSGO? And I was like, he's been the same. <laughs> if it's not Ninja, it's Nezlo. Yeah. Like, it's been the same. For- <laughs> it was that, and uh, Nagafin was, was his other. Yeah. He, he's like vines, right? But they're not vines. They're weenuses. And he's just swinging from one. Oh, just, oh, I just built good teams around me. I'm sorry. No, it's good. Yeah. Assume, yeah. So Assuming I. that I want to play with solid players. That no, it, communication. I, it makes sense. It, it makes, makes perfect sense. sense. It's just funny. And my team today is a typical gamer, Nick A30 and uh, Noah J456. I think you should hit Nezlo up, see if he's for free. For the full skirmish challenge. Oh, he's not Lucky Llamas, so it can't oh. happen. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Nick A, he's nasty. He's Nick really A30, good. The nasty. we were just talking about it. He is pushing. He's second right now in line. So but it's take, a close. Take who, him. <laughs> what? I think it's Ninja. In him. terms of what? Popularity or skill or popularity? Popularity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. Really? I don't know, dude. The numbers that he's been having on YouTube rival Ninja's Twitch numbers. And nobody's talking about it because it's. On YouTube. Oh, live streaming ones. Yeah. Wait, so he, he had, gets up to 100 and something? He, something? he, he had 105K the other day. But the day. thing is, is Ninja doesn't get 100 000. something anymore. He was doing the, the $10,000 like sabotage tournament for Nerd Out on Sunday. I mean, Sunday is the biggest day for streams. But Yeah. Does he uh, upload them as VODs afterwards? Yes. Really? Well, no, yeah, no, they, they, they auto-populate. Remember, you know how to do it. You, know you can turn it off. Oh, I would never turn that off. It's just it's such an easy thing to do. Um, okay, I did not know that. That's wild. Yeah. And it, I didn't know Ninja doesn't get 100 anymore. Well, he still – I mean, he's, I mean, he does sometimes. But yeah, I would say he probably averages like 85,000. Yeah. I think 80 is where it's like – Look, a, ba- a bad Ninja day is, a, is an excellent day for every, like 99.9999% oh, of the It's not bad at all. It was just – we knew that was what was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fortnite was everything. Somebody and was talking like about it. Down. Somebody was talking about how how – not a lot like he's not having the same growth trajectory as he did in the past and i'm thinking i'm like if there are if there are 7 billion humans on earth right and 6.9999999 billion like you get to that but you you can you only have like so much room for growth and when you cap out the way that he did like there's no like think about the the, the yeah, room to like, grow that's like 3 years down the line maybe where there, how how could ninja even grow like obviously he'll have his steady growth rate, mm-hmm. but unless he, in the morning streams Minecraft and at the in the night, like you can't, you've hit your Fortnite like yeah, cap. If, if if I hit my cap and I'm averaging ninety thousand viewers, one hundred ten thousand subs, yeah, almost nineteen million YouTube subscribers. You won the human lottery. Exactly, I'm good, I'm good to go. And, yeah. and it's like, go. and why, why, how, how is anybody like talking down on that? No, no like, one. That's I, crazy. The idiots do that. Yeah. Haters. You would think it would have fell off more actually once it hit its peak to only go from a hundred thousand viewers yes. to 80. Especially with how many other p- big names have formed since then. Yeah. Like it was Ninja. Now it's Daquan, Tifu, Nick A. It is crazy. All these big names. It's crazy how Ninja has stayed the same. Because if you think about the early mm. f- like Fortnite, it was like Ninja and Myth. Mm-hmm. And now, and now, like that has definitely, like you know, we're we're, we're teetering, changed. we're teetering on the line of talking about Fortnite. So yeah, let's yeah. move on from that. Okay, uh, but I was more talking about like Twitch. So, so am I? And, and to round that out, I think that your point makes the the most sense about the amount of people that have come since the time that he started. I mean, think about who's fallen off and who has stayed on top. If it would, if he wouldn't have gotten that sort of that sort of uh, success, then everybody else beneath him who wasn't uh, when he wasn't streaming, somebody else had to fill in those gaps because people always want to be always want to watch. Who was it back in the day? It had to have been Myth, right? Or Doctor Lupo? Uh, Myth and Lupo. I mean, there was there was a time where Ninja would go offline and Myth would have seventy thousand viewers, just not not even a host, just because Ninja wasn't live. Um, what happened cra- to my boy, man? What happened to my boy Myth? Uh, I think it's a combination of a lot of things. I, I, I don't, you can. I, mean, probably. I, don't, I, I don't think. I think he's refocused, kind of how he's branded himself like he's gone from there was a time where and and it it was true that there was a time where like a a build battle was a foreign thing in Fortnite, and myth had the earliest clips of build battles that were nuts and now if you go and watch those build battles it was like it was like a 10 percent of a normal build battle today um so those clips started to go viral which built him the name the young architect and everything and i actually played with myth yesterday and the he did something in the game that literally started that went viral again on the Fortnite competitive Reddit of people being like, "Myth is still myth." Yeah. Like he he outbuilt these two guys with the storm pushing to the where I was like squealing watching it live. I was like, "Oh, yeah, 
the way he edited certain things and made new pathways for himself in the build, I was like, yeah, he's still the young architect. Like yeah. he's just refocused so hard into the competitive side. I think that's that what did it. Yeah. Like he's also so right now, Tifu and Cloxy, as well as I think Myth are all are all going from West Coast where they live in LA and going home for the next four weeks just to be on East Coast ping for the East Coast servers. Like, that's how serious they're taking competition. Jeez, man. Because there's no central servers <clears throat> yet, I hope. Well, I mean, look, when there's $100 million on the line for competitive yeah. Fortnite, you have to be that serious. And I don't, serious I don't think, money. It, I think, I think a lot of it is, I, was, I forgot who I was talking to it, like, about, but I, I, you know, he's so young in, in YouTube and in competitive gaming that I feel like Ninja knew what to do. He knew that, you're going to you're going to get better in your career uh like on YouTube or on Twitch if you continue to just stomp like pub stomp into the ground and show you're the best rather than go into these like playground 1v1s and just get shit on cuz mm -hmm. then you're cuz there's always going to be better players and yeah. that's what people and and the you get you get your popularity off of your fans thinking you're the best. Right. Ninja's fans think Ninja is the best. Right? Yeah. Nick Merckx's fan think that Nick's Merckx is the best. They've never seen that. Is it the Swedish guy? I think he first played in, uh, I think it was the Summer Skirmish or whatever, but he plays on the most ridiculous. Yes. You know who I'm talking about? I know about? exactly who you're the talking most about. most ridiculous. When Hamlin's is like, Hamlin's is like commentating, yeah, yeah, and he, he goes, oh, yeah. I mean, or you, whatever. You, yeah. even, you don't even know what you're watching. Yeah. Like, that, that it's, it, it's funny because you can almost see where, where all these popular streamers and stuff got their kick to reach the level they are. Like, Tifu and Cloaksy really start skyrocketed when they won four Friday Fortnights in yeah, a row. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, Nick Merckx has always had this growth, but now he's really been taking off even more with the the argument of is he the best console player? Yeah, Aiden now goes live with four thousand viewers strictly because of what happened Crazy. with the skirmishes. Um, Wait, what happened with the skirmishes? Or he just in, in the in the summer skirmish when I cast it at PAX, he literally just him and Nick Merckx. They're both play con controller. They play both played on PS4, and they would both oh drop God. tilted every game. And Aiden beat Nick one v one in tilted four four of the games. Like didn't lose didn't lose a fight to Nick Merckx. <clears throat> but you're saying Nick Merckx still pulls like more of you. Oh yeah, yeah. But but now Aiden went from yeah I don't even know viewers to four thousand. Oh okay, I like you no mean he went down. I no, no no, it no, just no, like no, skyrocketed no. his. Oh okay, okay. Bro, but but the 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 thing about Nick is that he's like hilarious right. and good. Which right. is like the perfect Please. combination of what it is. Like you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Where I was like, "Where are you going with this?" I just knew. You, you've you've always said that Tim is the best streamer. I think Tim. I think uh, uh, I think Tim t the Tab Man's the best streamer on Twitch. I think. Yeah. I think, I think, I think Nick is pushing that too. I think Tyler won. I think Tim the Tab Man is consistently the best streamer on Twitch. I think Nick Merckx is right there as well. I think Tyler won when he does outside of league stuff. Yeah, and pushes to do new in type of content. He's pushing the best. I think if you package the best overall product on Twitch, it's Doc Stream. Yeah, oh for sure. Whoa, whoa! From a production level, and part of the the thing, I'm vlogging again. Boys. Yeah. Uh, from production level, I don't think you could. I mean, from a one man show, Doctor Disrespect will what always mean one man show. He's got his director. Yeah, I mean, but for how, like, how long? How What's recent is it? Alex? I think, it, I think it's still Alex. I don't even remember. No, but how point. recent is that? You know what I'm saying? Has it been recent? I don't even know. I just thought that he always did it on his own. Like, well, he, yes, does, he, he does. That's the thing. I'm he just, he does still do it on his own. Yeah, we're, I'm just going along with Alex, saying that there's he, a like whenever he, whenever he messes up, he, he like Alex. looks out to the side and blames Alex. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? You're like, what? Yeah, yeah. Not, what that's are you so doing, good. Alex? I mean, at this point, he probably should have a director. But like, but the but there is Alex is a real person, and that is the dude who edits his vlog his VODs mm -hmm. and puts them, or his, his highlight videos and puts them on YouTube. Uh, is the, PewDiePie does the same thing with those two two what are they called two Jeffs or yeah he's got his two people his two people and uh, and they do the same thing I, I I think that the people that get to that certain and I was gonna round it up or bring it into into uh, something I heard this morning I thought I heard I was listening to Casey and I said Casey and I sat and Candace Poole's podcast called Couple Therapy Jesus right. and he was talking about for the first time he was talking about how he felt like he was burning out on YouTube. And he was saying, like, to be successful on YouTube, you have to have, like, this incredible, unrelenting, like, will to upload every single day. And every single day that you upload has to be better or you have to try to make it better as the last or just as good as last. And for the first time, he says, he's like, I don't know. 
when we when I sold Beam to to CNN, I started to feel a little bit of a burnout, and I don't know what it was. It's just that I I think I reached that thing. You know, seven hundred and thirty six. I days, know what it was. What seven hundred and thirty six days that he uploaded consecutively? Well, all of thirty six. <clears throat> all of that work, and then you, and like, what are you doing it for? You know, like you're doing it for the content, but you're yeah. it's also your job, so you're doing yeah. it for financial value. Yeah. But then also you just sold your company to CNN for X, 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 however many commas. So Rumored then, 25. Um, so then why are you going to put, you know, 13 hours a day into one video for the next day all to just do it all over again whenever you don't really need I would, to? I would never in a million years be able to do what I do without help, without swap of my editor. Oh, yeah. Like the fact that I can literally just say game four because i do the win streak thing i, I just I, i'll just dm him. game four uh, uh four hours to five hours in the stream we have two really good random duos we can cut together and make a video great and he lists it all out and then and then we'll be like what content do we have we'll be like well you have this game where you dropped 20 well my videos where i dropped 20 never really do that great so i'd rather cut that off random duos is like the most popular thing on my channel we're trying a three-part series this week um like kind of shane dawson-esque and like the fact that he's always wanting to push the boundary mm -hmm. i literally go hey good little twitter stuff to upload to twitter like now that twitter's been doing popping a little bit again we've just been putting stuff out every single day trying different things we do trailers at the end of our videos like for the three-part series which i'm really happy with like oh, literally cool. he does all the stuff um yeah. and if i did not have him like the daily uploads we've, we're pushing seven months now i would maybe upload three times a week yeah yeah you know with casey though he was doing like uh, original programming every single day. Yeah, though. it wasn't like highlights of, of exactly, which is awesome. Like I think I think you have one of the best systems that I've seen in the history of, of Optic that 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 we've that we've had. Because even me, the only reason I did vlogging was because it was easy. Because I literally just point the camera. Everybody around me are are content creators, and for the most part, funny. Yeah. Some funnier than than others. <laughs> uh, and I was pointing at him. Uh, uh, you're good. You're funny. I was just giving Jack a, a hard time. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, but uh, but he was talking about Sorry. burnout, and and I was like, I don't think. Uh, for the longest time, I'm like, how can you be burnt out? And maybe it's because I had a job that where like a, where you went to corporate and you had to check in and all that. That where I never thought that this was, a, like a real job for me, right? Because I know the alternative, and I know that no matter how tough and stressful this what we do is, is never ever gonna beat how that made me feel so when he said it when casey said that he was being for bro if gary vaynerchuk comes out and says that he's burnt out i'm gonna be like holy shit, i quit i'm like good excuse excuse for me to if they can do it i can do it for I think sure people underestimate how long it took casey to edit those videos like he's obviously a really good editor but i think at some point back when he was grinding like 2016 he like i don't know laid out his daily schedule and it still took him like five or six hours a day to edit those videos even being like you know yeah i mean if you think about it just like let's say you sleep seven eight hours a day you do your normal work day or whatever that is while he's filming during it and then he gets to the edit and like when you add up the amount of time you sleep plus your work day you have like seven free hours and then he's got a family and he's got to edit for five of them so you're telling me like that many days in a row that many months in a row that many years literally with an hour of free time for family a day like it's going to kick in no matter what you're doing, the burnout. It's crazy. I used to watch his videos when they averaged like 150K. Like, I think that's when we all started. Or oh, yeah. We all started watching him because we were just like, this this is the next thing. And, and now was. We kind of knew even then, like, that's going to blow up. Yeah. And it's like, well, I, I, I mean, I, 1.2. I'm sure you guys did. I, I, watched, I watched his first vlog, like the day he announced he was daily vlogging, mm -hmm. like on his birthday when oh, he was in yeah. South Africa. I still, I still remember the shot where he announced it. Yeah, same. Um, same, but only because I go back and rewatch the whole seasons. Like from the beginning, right. not that often, but I do. I do go back because it, it. I I do it more not so because I'm like a huge fan, which I am, but more because it like it triggered some sort of inspiration in me that made me want to be like when I see somebody else doing something that I say, you know what, I could do that too. I'd go out and do it, especially if I admire it, and I did. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna push the way that this was pushing himself. What one man can do, another can do. Um, but that's not that's not true. Uh. And then to, to have the level of creativity, because there are times where you just don't have the creative juices flowing that you need to, and then you just revert to your, okay, well, I did this in this previous one, but then you feel, I don't know. That's I, why I said it helps as a vlogger to have something else to focus on. Like, I think the reason his vlogs were so good, obviously, because he's a great editor and he knew how to create.
great stories, but because he was focused on like Beam and people wanted to know what was going on with the company. If he was just all he had was his vlogging channel, what the fuck do you vlog? Like going out to get food. How many times can you go on vacation well, and vlog it? Like, that's the other thing too that really helps with him is like, and he knows it as well. That's why New York New York City is a character in his vlogs. Yeah. It's a main. It's a, it's it's the co-host. Right. With, PS guy. With, exactly. Well. Just yeah. just the character and the life that is New York City. It is it is never ending what he could wind up doing. Right. Um, I can think of a, 20 times where he's had a, literally a three minute segment about police in some way in his vlog, whether it's the police talking about a bike path the wrong way, the him getting in a cop, a fake cop car. That's a movie set him seeing police and just thanking them in the small car. If you remember that one that he got mm -hmm. some hate for mm -hmm. like, cause he was roasting the smart car. Yeah. It's just like, you can literally be like, Oh, what else? Okay. Steam, <laughs> New York city steam pipe. Like he just, he makes it a character, which helps so much. Yeah. Smart. He is the goat. So, you know, going back to that, when he said that he was getting burnt out, I felt I'm like, oh, my God, so it is okay to get to get burnt out. Because up until that point, I'm like, you can't get burnt out. You can't get burnt out. Like, you, what, the, what are people talking about when they're getting burnt out? Uh, and for the last month, I haven't uploaded uh, a vlog, mostly because I'm working on my studio. But the other thing is, like, you have so much things going on. In, in my in my in my case i'm just like i don't know what to do you know I, I see you guys like maybe once a week to do the to the podcast and it's not like it's hard for me to be like yo let's go play ball let's go uh let's go to dinner let's go get tacos like we used to get tacos every yeah. like, almost every day so <clears throat> it's it's partly literally just i'm trying to not say literally so much um <laughs> thank you it's uh <laughs> you're, you're welcome <laughs> uh it's it's me trying to get everything in order so I can go back to like my, my regular life where I don't have to go open the doors for the painters or I don't have to tell the painters what it is that I want, tell the floor guys to do this and the other. Like it gets, and I want and I wanted to, to vlog that too, but at the same time, I'll, I also wanted to have like this, this master reveal of my studio. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know. It's hard to pick and choose between the, between those two. Is it the same one we did the trivia that day? Yep. Is, did it seem finished to you? No. No, okay, okay, good. Because it will. You Next painted time you like the walls and everything that was there? Yeah, tore down a whole bunch of shit. Like individual studios? No, 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 no. Not like this. This okay. is dope. Okay, I, Joe did this by himself, yeah. too. I couldn't do it. You're the man, Joe. No, con <laughs> no construction back then. Tell, tell the vlog, uh, tell the podcast what Joe said that he was eating in uh, college. I don't know. He said something about CC's, which I love CC's pizza. You guys been to CC's? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, you get like the $5 buffet or whatever. Yeah. I never tried the macaroni and cheese pizza, but Joe. Oh, I did. Apparently, you did try yeah, it? Yeah, it's he trash. He said it was good, but it was oh. trash? He said it was great. No, but it's it was, like good trash. He yeah. said it was yep. so good that yep. he would put the cinnamon roll. Is there a cinnamon roll on the buffet? Yeah. He would smash it on top of the macaroni pizza. Right, I'm going to go leave. And no, then he no. dip oh, it. Oh, it's not done. It's he not dip done. it in Alfredo sauce. So how he high were you? <laughs> how high wait. were you? <laughs> like you had to be. It's like two a.m., bro. <laughs> yeah, how many? You give me the time of the day. It's one of those six where he's like two a.m. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. I'll give you that. He's Dude. like, he's like, two a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, in my throwback tournament. Oh, oh, you, I mean, you uh, did look. You, I, I mean, looked, looked. I okay. So, so I'm casting right. I, I get there, my throwback tournaments, they've always been Jack and I shooting the shit. Yeah. And, well, Jack goes on his tangents where he's like, I want to try now. And it's like five minutes of Jack casting and me like, damn, Jack's good at casting somehow. Um, yeah. But other than that, it's us like drinking beers or water and just talking about or rapping yeah. or freestyling, like something like that. So that's how the throwbacks have always been. I go to UMG. They have, they have graphics made. Like, like motion graphics of of like a car going down palm trees going by retro UMG style. knows what they're doing man. yeah it was dope and uh and so i get on i get on the the podium or whatever the yeah, desk, desk. Yep. and uh and landon's there and landon you know starts it off and then i'm like oh my god i i have to like try like <laughs> i can't i can't try like that's Dude. my whole thing about throwback tournaments is me i not trying you yeah. know because if i try that's when it gets cringy yeah but I was like, okay, so I, I had to like find a balance. I still like, you know, I wasn't. They didn't let me cuss, which I went nine hours without cursing. Good, really good. I, f I felt good about myself. I think I almost said shit one time, but whatever. So then, uh, you know, I had uh, the game. There was two monitors here with the games on it, so that's what we would look at. And then there was the monitor where the pe what the people saw. And I had just traveled the day before, and 
uh, you know, the, the sinus stuff was coming back and th- as, and the lights were hitting me. And so as soon as that popped up, I looked at myself, I was like, I looked, hi- I look high as shit. Like, and you had like, and, a, and he had like the maroon shirt on too, maroon. which like only just added to like the, and, the red uh, hue that and was, that and he was, smelled like weed. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, was the first thing I saw was the first time I saw myself, I was like, it's going to be a long stream. And then it was just people every single time. It was just like, Hitch is baked as hell. I'm like, yeah, man, I flew out to St. Louis to do a 10-hour stream and smoked right before. Like, it doesn't make... And you don't smoke either, so... Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Also, also, that face right there reminded me of the the guy that you you think of in a bowl of oatmeal when he does a... (laughs) That's what the face (laughs) is like. like, like, (laughs) Yeah. I don't know. I, th- I thought it was good. I-, I like those throwback tournaments, man, a lot. I think that you have something in your hands. And I we're, I don't know where it was. It wasn't a podcast that I was talking about. I called you a tournament organizer. And that's what and I, w- I wasn't wrong. You you organize yeah. tournaments. And what what I liked about it is like, yeah, obviously, you know, obviously Keemstar started the. OK, so El Rubius threw the, the YouTubers thing and then Keemstar took, you know, did its own thing and then it blew up. Uh, but one of the most popular ones, in my opinion, were the one where you did the co-ed tournament, you know, because it was a creative, yeah. you know, when, when you come, when you bring something to the table, and you're not doing the same thing as everybody else. Like Keemstar changed the game. You know what I'm saying? Like he literally put, I said literally, gosh darn it. <laughs> Keemstar put, uh, put so much emphasis on how much more successful tournaments could be if you had big personalities as yeah. part of the as part of the tournament, not Dude. just necessarily the competition. And there's a lot of people, and I don't know what it is about people that that hate on that, but they need to like realize that th- th- there's room for everybody to be a part of esports, yeah. and not necessarily have to be the best and the best. Like, yes, of course, <coughs> competition is fine, is best of the best, uh, of course. But when you have a, a growing scene, you need all the help that you can. Well, get. I think I think it's just it's a it's a hard thing to hear. Uh, for a lot of people that are trying in esports, but content is always going to be more important than esports until we hit like that television esque level. Because if I threw a throwback tournament and it was sixteen qualified teams, like the very first one, the one that you played in, mm-hmm. that was that's my most successful stream to date <clears throat> because we had ten to eleven thousand viewers for twelve hours. And then my second best stream was the was the co-ed tournament because I also had 10,000 viewers for the entire tournament. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's just people. If, if but that other people was, were streaming, too. Yeah. But other people were streaming. That's yeah, the big you, part. you have to count all those. The numbers. biggest one would have been if the Black Ops 2 one was able to have happened. It, that would have been that would that that stream. We hadn't even started round one yet. And there was nine, 60, uh, oh, yeah, 60 K yeah. across the streams on Black. Like Black Ops 2 was the. Th- Second highest or yeah. third highest game at that time on Twitch. That would have been. Oh um, my god, that would have been. But insane. then everyone started getting hit. The first, the second that someone got hit, I, we knew off the right. servers. It was just like, dude, it, people wanted to play it so bad that we had Doc and Nade shot. They were live on stream making barcode PlayStation accounts. Yeah. To try to hi- like, try try to hide their identity. That's how far people wanted to go play Black Ops yeah. Two. And then we just and then thankfully the community got behind us, switching to ghosts and like. Yeah. A lot of people still played, even though no one wanted to actually play Ghosts. Yeah, um, the importance of creators, man. I think yeah. Fwiz on your podcast touched on the actual numbers, right? He said monthly something like sixty, close to sixty billion mm-hmm. views gaming esports accounts for maybe four, five, which is still like yeah, still massive percentage. But yeah, I mean, but then you look at at, at a at an esport like Counter Strike, which is in my opinion one of the, if not for me, it's the best one. And I hate to say that because Call of Duty is like my love and all that shit, but I. Watching, I can watch an entire Counter Strike tournament, yeah. not because of who the players are, or, or and yeah, sometimes because of who the players are, but it's just that good of an esport, man. Where it's like really good to, it's like really easy to track, really easy to follow, um, and I think that I don't know, I in, in that scenario, like think about how many superstar like content creators are on on that, like in, in that particular sport, the the biggest draw is the competitive players or the or I, the pros. I think that. I think it's like when you t- look at the spectrum and the scale, it's like I think Counter Strike is the furthest on that side of like it is just that good of a competitive game yeah. at its core, and people know it. I think it's just a testament to like you have someone sit down and watch CS:GO once, you have someone sit down and watch Insert Esport here once. the The retention rate on that CS watcher, even though he doesn't play or maybe watch other big streams, the, the, the if if there's a major on and that guy's seeing the major and going. Oh, I'm gonna click it. Is like forty percent for other esports. It's like four mm-hmm. percent. Counter Strike is just that 
yeah. purely good of a game. If I if someone tells me Jack, show someone their first esports experience, it's a, it's like a Counter Strike Major Final. How do you not pick? I just don't know how you don't pick that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe a really good like melee where the crowd is behind it, but that's literally the only other thing. Yeah, I, I think a CS Major is just yeah, insane. Yeah, I, it's like part of my brand to joke that I don't like CS. Yeah, but. Watching majors is so much fun. Yeah. Watching like any close game like that, like whenever we had. How do you run in? Oh, whenever, it's the whenever, sprint button. Where's the sprint button? Yeah. That's whenever, <laughs> whenever, like, how do you aim in sight? Are they they are they gonna patch it yet? Or are they <laughs> aim down sights? Like I say stuff like that all the time. I I, I just love how each time it's mixed while it replies. Yeah. I love how every time he sees it, it's like it's just like something that he's just he just can't like let it go past his time. <laughs> uh, but no, that stuff. That that stuff and like how you how you mentioned like part of your brand with stuff like that like I I love that I see that I know that's Davis like, yeah <laughs> when, when we have like tweets with me and Lupo or 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 Tim like when we're like pretend like oh let's share a room at TwitchCon I'm sure your wife and they're like yeah Alexis or yeah. you know Sam we fine or like I, I went into someone's stream yesterday and literally just was like they were like oh I loved your new video with the with the uh, with the, like your new girlfriend or whatever and I literally was like thanks it was great can't wait to watch more youtubecom slash courage he just posted it in their stream and they were like. It pisses me off that you've literally branded yourself to the point where you could just plug yourself, <laughs> yeah. and people laugh. But no, it's your bra- like you're not being greedy. It's just part of your brand you've built out. I'm yeah. like, damn, I am pretty proud of the fact that I can literally just plug my, my channel, channel and it's like. My new thing is I'll go to like bit.ly and like make those short bit links yeah, yeah. and then post my, so you can't see YouTube.com/slash/CurtisJD. It's just yeah. a bit link. And I'll be like, yo, you got to check out this new Twitter video. And they'll <laughs> click it, and it just pops up YouTube on, on their It's the Twitch sub channel. confirmation link button. <laughs> <laughs> Straight getting right to the point. Oh, that's I do it to, like, Gigi Frosty. He's got, like, 70 viewers. She's like, bro, you're hustling the 70-view stream. Like, hey, uh, it doesn't take. It, it doesn't matter, stop. Man. It everyone, don't matter. Everyone. Somebody told me that my brand is, is, is like, being accepted as being mean. But I was – I don't know that wasn't the case. I don't think that that's something that I want to I think it's part of it for sure. I think there's truth to that. Yeah, there's absolute truth to it. I think, said, I think a I lot of your brand, brand is just delusion. delusion. Yeah, that's it, right? Like yeah. the overconfidence. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I, I do too. Some people say like, oh, it, I, it, bother, it doesn't bother me, but it kind of bothers me when on Reddit would be like, what, dude, this guy's got like an oversized ego. And I'm like, yeah, it's part of the, you know, it's part, it's part of my thing. Well, yeah, watched yeah. it long enough. Yeah, it's like what? <laughs> I'm not gonna cheer for myself. Like, who's gonna cheer for me then? Will's brand is, I just know that if I tune into <laughs> whatever the hell he's uploaded, he's gonna figure out a way to make house flipping entertaining, or that was the game, man. House or flipping. or American or, Truck Simulator. American Truck Simulator. Like, he's just gonna. It's just gonna be something about what he says with it that's just gonna be like, yeah. I need to. I need to see what happens next when he drives this 18 wheeler. Jude was watching him arrange things in a house, and I'm like, what? The, what are you oh, watching? And he's like. Oh, it's Will. What, what game is this? I'm like, what the fuck? What do you, what do you, what do you mean? And then I go. And I'm like, I almost texted him. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm just going to chill. Just, just, just let him do his thing. Man. I was probably getting judged real hard, huh? But by me, man. Yeah, no, she was loving it. She's like, oh, shit. Boom, boom. She's like, I want to play. And then, yeah, and then Liv's like, oh, I want to play that game, too. And I'm like, House Slipper was the wave. That shows you how bad video games have been. Yeah. If you're not a Fortnite guy, everything sucks right now. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think I think very early on um, in in YouTube there was like this. It wasn't the what are they called? It wasn't the crew. Who was um, Uber Hacker Nova and the creatures? The creatures. The creatures. They all played like every single game that came out. Every single game. It wasn't even about you know. I think it was literally them just enjoying every single game that came out the way that I enjoy saying literally <laughs> it's, because it's, God, I, I'm actually pissed you said that because now I'm going to judge and think of every time you say literally and go damn he really does say it a lot like I'm just going to I'm just going to notice it and hear it now yeah I, I it started yesterday when I watched somebody say uh, you know what I mean like after every sentence you know what I mean like, uh, like I mean that's how I used to be when I, mean? I would cast with Mr. X because Matt's always had certain crutch words I I would have a weekend every college cast weekend I would have a a word that I would just latch onto and I'd leave and go, why did I say unbelievable 4,000 times? Yeah. And Mr. X, like, I've slowly started to forget them now since it's been so long since we cast it, but literally he would be like, and we're going to see, and we're going to see, literally. Like, but you always be like, and we're going to see him now push down long A, and we're going to see aches. <laughs> I love your Mr. Aches. X voice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but Matt, Matt would always have like these these couple of clutch, crutch words um, that, that he would just always fall back on. I'd be like, I know I'm cast with Matt right now. It feels good. Yeah. He's going to know it. I don't know. Is that something that 
Yeah, is that just something that's part of your like that your brain needs in order to connect the words and your thoughts? Because I mean, it travels, right? It's, the signals travel from your brain and send no, it to not, your. I mean, literally, your, that's a, just a one hundred percent. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, literally, like yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the word you're. There, there's two different ways. There's filler words that save you. Yeah. Which I think the, but then there's also words that like, for example, this is really a random idea, but like David Dobrik's vlog. Mm -hmm. When they want to prove that something is true, like they're telling the truth on something, they say dead ass, and like they their friend group knows you can't lie on dead ass. Like yeah. every friend group has something like that. Yeah. The word literally, it's almost like sort you're of up, sort of up. It's like it's like you're 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 expressing. You're trying to just prove to everyone else that like this is how truthful this statement is. Like I can't literally. It is this. Like it's not just normal. This it's literally this. Like I'm not even making it up. Yeah. So I can't tell for you if it's a filler word, which it feels like it's slowly becoming. No, I think it's like it's, an emphasis word. You know, the the yeah. same way that I used to say the F word, like can, I cannot effing believe this. Now it's yeah. like I literally can't believe this. Wow. Yeah. So it, it may be that. It's the esports way. Yeah, right. but it, I, I do find myself, when I speak Spanish, let's say for 15 minutes, and then immediately have to go do something else, I do find myself that my... I do find my words like not making sense or like my <laughs> composition of words to get a sentence out in English like suffers a little bit. Yeah. Same way in Spanish. Like it takes me – Judith pointed something out. She says, you know what's crazy? I've ne I don't see you stutter or ne never hear you stutter in Spanish. And then I'm thinking about it. I'm like, holy shit. That's but crazy. It, you yeah. say literally in Spanish or does that not make mm. sense in the language? No. Imagínate si estoy ahí diciendo que literally ya me voy a ir a la casa. So you still have to say it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, no I, I, would, I would have totally believed that. Li <laughs> li <laughs> literaria, literariamente. It's literally. I already forgot it. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll, uh, I'm going to give myself a pass on the fact that I'm bilingual. And sometimes my brain... I The question is, do I dream in Spanish or English? I haven't never been able to... I never woken up and thought, man, I just had a conversation in Spanish in my in my dream. But I've also, you know, that. you don't know which language you dream in. No, nope. no, nope. I don't know, man. I don't know. I just looked at Will, and for some reason, seeing Will reminded me that we got to go to see Will's apartment, which was very nice. Then the fact that we got it in an Uber and we were on the side of the highway because we got a flat tire, and that was almost that happened it. to you guys like three that, days ago. And why did you just say that like that? I don't know. You just sound like a robot. <laughs> That happened to you guys. I was going to say you too. Yeah. But then I, I knew that wouldn't really make sense because yeah, yeah. that happened to Hex and I. Actually, that happened to you and the CS:GO team too, right? You said it was the third time it had happened. To you. What the hell, bro? We were literally on the highway, and next thing you know, we just hear like a Holy and like shit. and like and like Mike and I. There was a conversation going on in the front, and Mike and I. But I, I I went like this. I was like in the row in front of Mike, and I went and I was like your window down because that's like how loud it was and then like i turned back this way and look at him and he's like you heard that too i'm like yeah he's like you think that's what it is like we both knew like flat tire was coming yeah i'm like yeah but then like sound stopped minute passed and then i know where all we heard was oh, and yeah, it was yeah. us riding on the rim like oh the guy shit. swerving too it was kind of raining too he was going 70 on that the guy was just, that like, guy was I, let's just say like I don't want to be in Uber. Yeah, bro, tell them what he did though. That was that we're on the side of the highway, and first off, Hector immediately has to go into dad mode because we want to get another Uber to get on out of there. So he's like, "Okay, put on your hazards." And the guy's like, "I'm gonna turn the radio down." And then he goes, "Turn the radio down." Hector's like looking for the volume. The guy's like, "Okay," and the okay, and the ride. He's like, "What the?" F it was no, it was seriously. It was it's like his brain was like functioning in slow mo. Like, cause I, I don't think he could take it. Literally, I don't think he could take in what was happening. Yeah. Like, not even saying he's a dumb guy. I just think what was, was going on. First flat, yeah. yeah. Then Hector's like, okay, now you can either drive the, th the three quarters of a mile and we can get an Uber there, or you can, we can wait here and get an Uber. And the guy's like, so what's the next step to figuring out? Mm -hmm. if I do that? Hector's like, so you're going to wait for no cars, get out. This is literally what Hector was saying, and check your back tire, see if it's on its rim. And the guy just goes like this. Okay, and like opens the door without even looking. Hector goes, Hector's like this, whoa! <laughs> I couldn't believe this dude. I'm like, who, what human doesn't know that you got to look both ways when you cross the street? Same thing happens when you're in a car. Holy but hell. I'm sitting there and all I thought about, like, imagine this is a car. This is a car. A door opens and it's <laughs> it's half halfway in there. The, if a car hits it and kills him, he's also going to hit this door and if the door doesn't fly open, this car is going to spin into the middle of the highway where a semi-truck is just going to come in and end us. Or 
We were also on one of those elevated highway parts where it was like 87 roads. Could have just knocked so us we, off we, the I mean, we were 30 feet plus off the ground, Are probably. You serious? Oh yeah. So like oh, that's why. Shit. And then it was it, since it was one of those bridges, it, it's not a, it's not like a shoulder with a roll off that you can like go onto because we're elevated. It's like a small shoulder. So like we're in the car and every time a car passes us, it's like this. You feel the wind rock the and car. He left the door while he was checking. Well, when he was checking tire. the back tire, instead of shutting the door and like leaning against the car and looking, I'm like, dude, he get left in. it open like forty, like like he was like this, holding it with his back hand, like he was keeping it open. And we were like, Hector, I've never seen Hector. He, he's like this. <laughs> it it was just a bodily reaction. It wasn't English. It was. I'm like, this is about to die. Yeah. And oh, I, I, holy shit. I'm like, but 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 but. And then couldn't and do the it. Part is, Hector. Whatever the, the hell, your Uber rating must be 5.5, 5, above is. the 5. Yes. Well, I shouldn't have even said that because that went right to his ego. But yes. now I'm going to hear about how he's got the best Uber rating. But next thing you know, Hector Obviously. looks at his phone, calls an Uber. Somehow within 90 seconds, there's a there's a, 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 a truck pulling in behind us on the highway, an Uber. It was like, it was like Will and I joked because it was so surreal how fast it was that it was like, it was like there was an option, Uber Highway, where you just get picked up on the side of the highway. <laughs> Because that dude was there instantly. No. Well, the, the problem was that when, when I told him to cancel the ride, he canceled it. I'm like, okay, cool. I've been here before. I'm going to call the Uber. I call the Uber, and he pings. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm like dude, like, cancel it. He's like, no, if I cancel it, they're going to give me a fee. I'm like, fine. I'll cancel. I closed it out. I'm like, okay, I'm fucking waiting for you to, to cancel it. Like, how do you not know that you have to cancel? You're going to ping. You're still on. I'm like, show off line. Show offline, show offline, show offline, show offline. Because I'm like, I'm drunk, right? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. I want these vibes to continue. We're about Holy to go hell. to the private club, the cowboy club. We're about to have the, the best, best. Old How good was the old fashioned? It was the best I've ever had. Mm. Yeah, same. Mm. Anyway, so we we'll, we'll go there and I'm like, all right, boom. He cancels it. I call the thing. And as I'm there, I'm like, I'm on I looked at the map first, my you know Google Maps, and then I, I knew where I was, the intersection. I'm like, hey, uh, my Uber driver got a flat. We are right before this on the bridge you know come through and then as he's driving he's like i got it and then i'm t I'm, I'm still t giving him an instruction says we're, we're on the right shoulder he's like yeah yeah i got you i got you and then i'm like i'm still giving him as much information as possible. you can never over communicate like. ever i learned this from the high level of call of duty gameplay that i play with the old men of optic um and boom right behind us is the man i'm like dude have a good one i'm gonna leave you a tip i did leave the guy a tip you did i did because you know he's gonna be having a shitty day we're a part of that so you know, I hit him up. I didn't give him the twenty percent, and then got in the other. It was Uber. it was one of those scenarios where, like, if we weren't all like feeling pretty good, if we were like dead sober, I would have like this, like, get me out of here, get me out of here, yeah. get me out of here. Instead, I was like this, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it was just kind of fun. I was like, this was never chilling. <laughs> we walked to the next car. We're with Mike, of course. The next, you know, he's like this. Yeah, yep. on the way. <laughs> next Uber. Little guy gets to the back. He's recording things that we didn't even know he was recording. He, we later see on his IG story that like when he was hopping and saying, like, little guy gets the back. We, we laughed because we were like, oh, it's Mike, it's Mike being Mike. Yeah. He like literally it was on his IG. We're like, when did you even, how did you even manage He's one just, like, side hiding of his phone down here recording yeah. the entire night. He's like, little guy gets in the back next to Uber. <laughs> Will's like holding the door open for him. Like, what is going on, bro? It was good. It was a good night, though. We got to do that again. It was. It was. Let's, I, I, let's start again, a bigger group next time. We, we need a bigger group and... Like you were, you were away, yeah. Um, doing the doing the cast. Bose was in the finals, winning. Bose was in the finals, so like, th but then there was also the fact that like, we went to we went to Concrete Cowboy after, and like, if I'm gonna go to a place where I'm gonna turn up like that, I need to be in the right mindset. Like, I just I just need to know that you like, if I'm Concrete go Cowboy, if I'm gonna go out, I need to literally just ramp up. I need to know at 8 a.m. that I'm ramping up that day yeah. and plan my meals around it in the way that I meals is that some people don't take into consideration. If I know that I'm going out on a certain night, I won't eat the usual breakfast that I will eat. You know, like super, like yeah. super spicy and you know like, beans I'll, and shit. No, 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 no. I'll I'm still go out, easy. but I I can't I, I can't get the 8 p.m. text that says yo we're going out tonight. Mm -hmm. All in the same way. And I'll say okay y'all like y'all have fun. Bro, I gotta mentally prepare for yeah. something like that. I'm yeah. 38 years old, about to be 39 in February, dude. I've been there, done that. That's why I'm afraid of next week when we go to Vegas, man. I can't. What am I gonna do for an entire week in Vegas? Well, what? You're doing, for an entire you're week? doing some esports thing, right? Yeah, I'm doing an esports thing. Um, this Friday, um, Optic is nominated for uh, relocation of the year, so business relocation. Um, you know, <laughs> people that we're competing against are. Small companies like Toyota, Jamba Juice, and other corporations that have moved to you know to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, so hopefully, I can bring a championship home, do my job, 
for because we need we need a championship. You know? <laughs> uh, bro, when I was in, when does this go? Does this go after Vision or before Vision? It'll be our first our first championship of the year. After, bro, I was I was <laughs> talking about how the Gears team is like on their eighth win in a row, and I'm like, if 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 explosive. And Billy Mantle decided, and, and Summons decided to put up, put a team together, and go, go compete in an open, go compete in an open bracket, and they did good. They they could probably be like a, a top sixteen team, like yeah, Optic for, for COD. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, <laughs> like Optic, <laughs> and I was fucking died. Um, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, That's hopefully funny. we win, we win that. Um, that'd be really cool. That'd be a really cool award to get oh, yeah. the relocation award by the city of Dallas. Are you kidding me? And then the following, uh, there's a. Uh, there's some esports conference. I'm not too too familiar with it, but Nate's gonna be there doing two panels, and he told me, he's like, "Yo, come in a week early," and I'm like, "Hell no, I'm going in there on Thursday with Jack, and then we're gonna go to the Migos and Dre concert, and then we're gonna go to the." Um, Damn, you gotta research Migos music, huh? No, I, I know Versace, 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 Versace. That came out in 2008. Medusa head <laughs> on me like I'm Illuminati. <laughs> this is a private community. Please get the fuck out of the property. I wonder if they're gonna do that together. What? The Versace song. So I would have. Them. That's the only reason I'm buying tickets because that's the only song I know. I do walk it, talk it. Yeah, I walk it, talk walk it. it, like tuck it, walk it, like tuck. It. That's all I know. That's, good. that's, good. that's all good. I know. That's all that's I know. That's really all you need to know. Yeah. Well, and the it's good, just, the then good, it's just classic, right? The good thing yeah. is that I know how to move and groove, man. Yeah, man. Yo, who you got for the fight though? I saw you. McGregor, hundred percent. Really? Yeah, I'm a McGregor. Like that confident. Yeah, I am. You've I seen mean, this guy wrestle a bear when he was a kid? Yeah. Near McMillan. Yeah. Fucking bears are dumb. Bears are dumb. God, I can, now I, I see why. I can, I, now I, I see where Seth gets his "I can tackle Adrian Peterson" from. He learned it from Hector's delusion. No, well, look, I'm not tackling a bear, but if it's, it's if if I'm in survival Wait. mode, I'm gonna use my problem solving abilities. Seth? Seth literally, I forgot about the peak that. of his AP time. Seth said, "If it's a one on one, if if him and Adrian What's Peterson, AP? Are like uh, this, oh, Adrian Peterson, uh, Adam Arp, yeah. no, no, sorry, no, not that. Talking about what I and and he literally said that if he was like this with Adrian Peterson, Seth said he could tackle him in an open field." At that time, was the best running back in the NFL of the last decade. Like, I think maybe like one time out of a hundred, if he tripped him, it would need. Oh, it need to be a, a scenario like that where like he literally just dives at the legs. Now, can his like, dad tackle Adrian Peterson? No, bro. His dad is <laughs> massive. You're out of your mind if you think that Sean can tackle him, bro. Sean like, is what? um Sean like is when he massive. was like, like in the MLB like or now, Sean like or? right now. No. Bro, oh, if if you no. get listen, yes. I, I love myself some you know Sean, Mr. Abner, but no one that I know can tackle Adrian yeah. Peterson. Not a single person. Most people that you don't know can't. Tackle yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I think I think McGregor is. Look, I'm not saying that this guy is is like a, a walk in the park. Like I I know who he is. He's 27 and 0. About You've seen his fight. I mean, he's just relentless. McGregor would have to like knock him out in the first round. McGregor can. McGregor. Here's, here's, what, here's, what I like. Here's, what I like about McGregor is that is that he is a a fighter, but above anything else, his confidence in himself can move mountains. He can. I've been right. watching the press conferences. It doesn't seem like he's got that much of an upper hand in these like press conferences. Though. Just mentally, yeah, it's not the same. Well, I think because this the, the other guy is just. It's just like nothing. It's like nothing phases him. I think my big thing, my thing, the reason why I would be willing to bet, I've only done one sports bet my whole life, and it was Yankees Red Sox. I bet that no runs would be scored in the first inning. I won it. It was the best thing ever. It was the two starting pitchers. I did it like a year ago. Um, but the only reason why I would be willing to bet, like on this one, for example, is because like I, I, I'm, I, I just love McGregor and what he stands for with yeah. with what he's done. You know, yeah. um, that like just to because I'm there experiencing it. I might as well just throw some money out. I'm not going to throw money where I'll, if I lose, I'm not going to throw money where if I lose it, I'm like, my rest of my weekend's ruined. Yeah. But it would just be one of those things where like, it would just get me. I'm ruining my weekend. Yeah, you fight. definitely want to, you want to have something on it. People are like, put your money where your mouth is. And I said, I am. I am. I'm going to put some money on this. And they're like, you better put some money on it. I'm like, yeah, I'll put like $1,000. On McGregor. On McGregor, 100%. Depends on the odds. If the odds are a little bit like if he's, if, if, if the odds are really, really against him, I might, I might put twenty five hundred, because it's either I put twenty five hundred on, on, on something, and then me be that much more excited for the fight on top of how already excited I am about it. But I can also take those twenty five hundred and go to the table. I think it means easy money, man. Look, man, he's relentless. He just gets on. He doesn't let you go. Like he gets you on the ground and he just beats the fuck out of you. For like <laughs> a five a lot of and he I'll, just never stops. Look, a lot of people, a lot of people. Love McGregor, but they also want to see him do.
do that. So every single time, like he took the time off, he went to he went and boxed and did that, and 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 everybody wants to always discount the person that was on top at some point if they abandoned him for a, a minute. One of the one of the main reasons I told Seth that the re, that that he was feeling so much heat from the fans was because he was he he wasn't in front of them every single day the way that he had been yeah. his entire life. So that's they they had this sort of feeling where like damn this dude it's like he's, he's like a stranger out. yeah he's yeah. like a stranger to me I don't know who this kid is like they, they don't have the same connection that YouTube brings you know as, as YouTube brings people together. I think the same thing's happening with McGregor where he took so much time off that people are discounting what he is. You know what I'm saying and. And I think I'm not I'm not gonna do that. I mean, look at look at what happened with Tiger, fucking Woods. Woo! I don't watch golf, okay, but I do appreciate greatness. And that dude shot everybody up. And they show him. He was he was. I don't know if it's a real video or not, but you know he was looking at the critics. Everybody's discounting him, saying, "Yeah, you know what I'm talking about." But the messaging there was what was was what was what was important. Damn, that's a lot of Ws. Um, but yeah, no, I I got I got McGregor. If, uh, Ever since I saw that McGregor documentary you showed me, was it the Netflix one? Mm-hmm. Been a lifelong fan since then, but I think you might be in trouble. Ever mm-hmm. since you showed me that, I've been a lifelong fan since then. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Like I showed it to him in 1995 <laughs> was when I showed it to him. pretty sure lifelong, but all right. Yeah, yeah. We'll let it slide. I know what you mean. <laughs> so he's been a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I think, what, I do you, what do you think? You're going to be at the fight. I, I said I'm going to probably sell some money on McGregor and just go for it and enjoy myself. A little vodka sodas. What do you think? Uh, I think the Drake Amigos concert is going to be dope. It is, dude. What do you think? You going with Khabib? Yeah, if I had to put money on it, I'd go with him. Nah. I think the Tiger Woods comeback is only second in incredible sports comebacks to uh, Killer winning the Ghost Throwback Tourney. That's where I'm at. Right? right? It's a pretty big Ooh. comeback. He ended the whole tournament with a 1.4 KD. No, he didn't. Against he played the Complexity Squad. Yep. He played the <laughs> TK Squad. <laughs> he played the most wanted squad, and he ended playing Rambo Ray in finals. He was frying. Rambo Ray. But yeah. I, finals of a 2018. What was Ray's KD? Ooh. <laughs> the, the same. The same. The same. Not, ain't nothing changed. Never changed. But ain't nothing changed. I, never changed. <laughs> I think ain't it was like point eight five or something like that. Yeah. It's like those yearbook quotes in the back. It's like, never change. But you guys, Did you guys have yearbooks? Yes. Okay. Hags. Do, do people summer. not, guys? If you guys are in high school right now, or let's say you're you just got out of high school, do year are yearbooks yes. still a, sister, a thing? My, my, it, no, it was well, maybe because my sister's friend culture, but it was like a big thing. Like they had a they had a family breakfast with all the families, and they went and legit did a whole yearbook signing part of it and had balloons and everything. And she's got like paragraphs written by each of her friends. I'm like, okay, none of us cared that much. We just wrote hags and moved on. Yeah. I, I like the I like the girls K I T and then their phone number, because all of a sudden they got brave and they're like, "Yo, keep in touch. Here's my number, Summer." I'd be like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" Never, never got. I that. must have never gotten those. Yeah. Well, did you not ever get those? K- no. K I T. Yeah, keep in touch. Yeah, Bro, every just, girl wrote that. You, you know, on my you, you, you know, 1997. You guys, you guys had house phones. You could, yeah. Right. Like, what? You You'd have cell sex. phones. Yeah. Right. You had yeah. A, that was when you touch. that was when you looked at people in the yellow pages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that an insult? As, as if I had something to do with it? It's like <laughs> I, I still it, remember looking things up in the yellow pages, bro. Yeah, like Thursday. I, 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 I wasn't offended when you were saying that. It's, it's like it's like when uh, when rich kids take take pride in how rich they are when they didn't do any work for it. It's like their parents are like, well, fuck, that's your dad's money. What the fuck out of here? <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's a good place to end the that's podcast. A good place to yeah, end that's the, podcast. the best place to end it, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, McGregor for the win. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed it, you can follow all of our information down below. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. Maybe we'll read it. Finally, Joe, that's your job. We never, ever answer questions from the comments, <laughs> even though we ask them every time. Just write it down, man. Hey, man. All right. You know. Cool. So we might have we might not have a podcast next next week because we're all going to be out of town, and Joe's about to have a baby. So. Week after that, we'll be back. We'll be back. You're going to have the baby. Better than ever. Yeah, that's yeah. a little different. Usually the the woman has the baby. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I love that he could never defend himself. <laughs>